Good morning, friends. Miss Heather here. Okay, let's start off with our morning song. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. Good morning, friends. I'm glad you're watching today. Okay, so this week I have a great under the sea book with lots of beautiful colored fish that we get a look at and all the sea creatures. This book is called Under the Sea by Anna Milborn and Kathy Shimon. Ooh, it's a big whale. Have you ever looked out to sea and wondered what lies under the waves? The sea is so big, it reaches all around the world. In each place, it's a different as can be. Near a sunny shore where the water is warm, there are hundreds of jewel bright fish. They bustle around the coral reef, nibbling at teeny tiny plants. A turtle swims along and settles on the seabed where lots of eager yellow fish crowd around to clean its shell. At night, the fish tuck themselves into nooks and crannies to go to sleep. A hungry eel slinks out of its hole to hunt. Any creature it finds. Night become a midnight snack. When morning comes, the eel sulks home and other creatures roam around. In an underwater meadow, sea cows munch on long seagrass. A group of rays swim slowly by. They flap their wings as though they're flying and glide out into the open sea. Imagine sailing across the wide blue sea. There's nothing but water for miles and miles. Then suddenly, Beneath you swims the biggest creature there's ever been. What is it? That's right, it's a whale. Wow, that's big compared to the boat. It's a gentle giant, a big blue whale. He's searching for other whales. He sings a booming lonely song into the empty blue from far away across the sea. Another whale songs come floating back. Out here, far from any shore, the sea is very deep. It gets darker and darker the deeper you go. Then all at once, twinkling lights appear. All kinds of strange and pretty creatures are flashing messages in the dark. It takes hours to get to the bottom of the sea. People have been there in little submarines. They found mountains and valleys just like you see on land. But there were other things no one had ever seen before. Odd rocky chimneys puff out hot black water and pearly crabs and scarlet tube worms live all around.
Not many things live at the bottom of the sea. Most live near the top where it's sparkling bright. Tumbling schools of silvery fish rush along beneath the waves. Dolphins chase after them, rounding up the fish to eat. Dolphins can't breathe underwater like all the fishes do. They have to breathe the air instead through the little blowholes on their heads. They leap out of the water as they speed along and catch a breath before they dive back down. Here up close, there's the dolphin's blowhole on top of his head. You could spend forever and a day exploring the deep blue sea. But sail far enough across the waves and you'll always come to shore. The end. Just a few more fish. Such a beautiful book. I wish I could have read you guys a Mother's Day book, but the libraries are still closed. However, dads, if you're at home and you guys can get, say, cardboard or go get a cheap little canvas, we got these from Walmart. And if you guys have some type of painter's tape or any type of tape, really, this is a great Mother's Day craft that I'm going to be doing with my kids this week. And this one is for my mother from my son. And it was really hard to spell out grandma. So I just wrote G Ma. But for the other kids, we wrote mom, and then they can go ahead and paint the whole board as messy and colorful as you want. And then just right before it gets fully dry so it won't chip the paint, just peel the tape up, and then you'll have a beautiful craft and present for Mother's Day from your kids. Happy Mother's Day, moms. I can't wait to see you guys all back at church. I miss everyone. Bye.